One Piece recap series for the lazy people. Water 7 is I gave me my favorite arc in One Piece. I broke it into two parts, Water 7 and Enya Slowly, because I mean, I feel like they're two different arcs. So let's jump straight in. It technically starts with Long Rain Long Land, where we meet Foxy and the legendary Afro Luffy. That shit was ass! <laughs> so I'm skipping that. The crew encounters Aoki John and Island. He is a Navy Admiral and he's one of the three admirals who are the strongest in the Marines. He was looking for Romit and to see who she was rolling with at that time. The strong has ended up fighting him. He messes them up. Ice time. But them lets don't go because of what? Plot armor. Jokes aside though, he said, reward for bringing down Crocodile. Really? It's because he's a good guy. That's why. He tells them that Robin is dangerous to the world because she can read the Ponic list, but she's also a danger to the crew as well. Moving on, the Going Mary was in bad shape and needed to be fixed, so the crew goes to Water 7 looking for a ship right to fix their crew, to fix their ship. At Water 7, the crew splits up to do um, stuff. That's where Robin meets members of the CP9 and gets kidnapped. Meanwhile, Nami, Luffy, and Usopp meet up with Kaku, who is a shipwright from the Galila Company, the building company in Water 7. And Kaku goes to inspect their ship. They also meet Iceberg, who is the mayor of Water 7 and is loved by everyone, and his secretary, as well as other members of Galila Company, and they take them to the company. Usopp, who was holding the money for their ship or their new ship, gets kidnapped and attacked by thugs from the Frankie family. There's a lot of kidnapping in this arc. He gets beaten up and the money is stolen. At the same time, the inspection on the ship is done and it's discovered that the ship cannot be fixed. They need to get a new one. Seeing the state of Uso, as you can imagine, the straw has had to get him back in blood. And they destroyed the Frankie family and their house. But they couldn't get their money back because Frankie had already taken the money away. Luffy and the crew then decided to get a new ship. When Uso woke up, he didn't like that. And this led to a disagreement between him and Luffy that ended up in a duel and Usopp ended up leaving the crew. Check out the video on the channel where I talk about this fight between Usopp and Luffy and how Usopp was selfish. Back to Water 7 though. I spice. <laughs> Sorry. You naughty naughty. You teasing me. You naughty naughty. <laughs> Iceberg gets shot and Robin was framed. Luffy refusing to believe that Robin would do this goes in to investigate. And that's when we discover that the members of Galila that were closest to Iceberg were actually undercover agents for CP9, who were the same guys that kidnapped Robin, and they were the ones that shot Iceberg. They were looking for the blueprints to Pluton, an ancient weapon, which they did not find because it was with Frankie. How was it with Frankie, you may ask? Well, that's because Frankie and Iceberg go way back when they both were apprentices to a shipwright, Tom. Tom was a brilliant shipwright. In fact, he even built the Pirate King ship. He took an interest in Frankie after seeing Frankie's aptitude for building and then took him in as basically his son. Long story short, the government arrested him for his involvement with the Pirate King and sentenced him to death. But he made a deal with the government to allow him to finish building the sea train, which ended up helping the whole area in terms of movement on the ocean. He was about to be pardoned, but the government, aka spun down, made up a scheme in an attempt to get the blueprints for Pluto. Using Frankie's inventions, they attacked innocent people, and this altercation led to Tom's death, which Frankie blames himself for. Frankie also gets hit by the sea train that Tom built, which almost killed him, but he built his body up using metal and scraps and turned himself into a cyborg. And then he leaves Water 7. Upon his return to Water 7, he meets up with Iceberg, and Iceberg entrusts the blueprint to build Pluton to him in like a show to kind of show that, oh yeah, I don't hate you for killing our dad, I forgive you, blah, 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 all that stuff. But that's how the blueprint ended up with Frankie. Back to the main story, Luffy tries to fight CP9. And <laughs> Luffy fails miserably. Robin and Frankie ended up being kidnapped by CP9 and taken to Enya Slobby, which is a government island. The crew then makes an alliance between them, the Frankie family, and Galila company to bring them back. And this brings us to the end of part one. Part two coming up soon. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe.
We'll see you in the next one. Bums out.